Is George around? I'm here. Did you hear that? Wow. Thank you, George. George, I got a couple questions about your restaurant. Are you okay answering some questions? Holy shit. George is a strong spirit. We got to talk more, George. On the camera, but something must have happened. I, I think it shut down. My battery was a little low. But I was asking if George was here, and George said, I'm here. It was very loud and clear. George, are you still here? Here, here. He's still here. And Lewis is here. I heard Lewis's name a couple times. So I asked George if we could talk for a moment. That's where we're at. This is where we're. This is where we were at. I think that's what, that's what he said. Um, so I went over to the door and I picked up the picture of George. And for those of you who didn't know, well, those of you who didn't know, George owned a diner in the 30s, and the diner was my parking lot. This is the house that's over there <laughs> and the diner the it was like a single was it was it a single wide trailer George <clears throat> was it like a trailer like a bus trolley type thing and it was converted into a diner George how many pe how many people could you see in your diner Six, and and that's George right there. I don't remember George's last name. Can you tell me your last name, George? George, what's your last name? I think that's George back there talking. I used to know it. I, I got to look it up again. I can't find the paper. Um, so I'm sorry. I forgot your name, your last name. But that's George. And George, you were the cook also? Yeah. So I know that you served bagels. You had coffee. Did you serve eggs and toast? What were you able, did you have a fryer inside of there? Okay. Did you have any fried food? And I'm sorry if I'm walking back and forth, you guys. I just want to make sure that this thing stays recording. Was that yes, that you had a fryer? Did they have fryers in the 30s? I hear you, Lewis. And Lewis went into that establishment as well. We, we got down to that, and um, Lewis and Jasper also used that place in the 30s. And George gave me an amazing session. This this is probably going back a year and a half. George is a very strong spirit. Um, so you served eggs. So did you have a stove inside of there? What kind of a, a flame top? Is that what you had? Something to a uh, correct? Okay. So you were. How did you get your food? Local farmers? Yeah. 
pretty wild, huh? <laughs> Who was the local farmer that you received your goods from? And you were able to seat six people inside. Did, did most of the people that went into your establishment order stuff to go or did they eat in? Let's try and keep it simple so that you can answer. Um, if they ate in, mostly say in. If they ate out, mostly say out. George, did you have any family that worked in the diner with you? So, who's still with me? Lewis, George. So I, I, I was watching, I, I don't know who was with me, if anybody was, but I was watching the AMC making of the American Mobsters. It was like seven or eight parts. It was really, really good. It was really good. <laughs> um, I did have meters. I was watching it and seeing if anybody was was around me. I didn't I didn't get anybody showing up on my meters. Did you guys watch that series with me? It's it's really good. It, it was um it was the story of the immigrants who came into the United States and basically built America. I mean, whether they built it on legalized business or they built it illegally through the Mafia, that's what it was about. And it was uh, Bugsy Siegel, Al Capone, um, Genovese, uh, Luciano, So yeah, you guys, the um, the mob story was was pretty good. Lucky Luciano. It, it was mostly about Lucky Luciano, and he pretty much he pretty much took over New York City. I mean, New York City was was his, and um, you know, for 20 years they reigned reigned supreme in New York City, and they built the organization together. But the Siegel, of course, started um, what you what you now know as Las Vegas. He started that whole casino thing. The Flamingo was his. Um, Mr. B across the street has told Rick in the past that he organized his business after Al Capone. Al Capone and Lucky Luciano were very good friends growing up. Al Capone, of course, went to Chicago. Chicago was a much dirtier, grittier, bloodier place than New York City. <laughs> and that's what Mr. Uh, Banter Kane said he modeled his business after. And of course Louis Jasper, Mike, they all worked for him. So you guys, I think that's about it for today. George, thank you so much for coming through. We'll talk again. I, I've got a, a I've got um Margin Manor coming up, the team and I and I've already explained what that was. It's a winery now, but tons of history in there. I can't wait to go there. That's Saturday, Saturday night, and I'll film what I can. Oh, I've got um, I've got a new um, wireless camera system.
that I had working the other night at the house, and it was so interesting. I didn't record it, but believe me, I, I turned. I just I didn't think it was going to work, and I plugged it all in, and it just worked. Everything that never happens, it just worked. So I put the cam in the in the living room, and I pointed it towards my chair, and I saw a little orbital like that. So I asked them if they would please do a circle around the chair, and they did. I then took the camera and I pointed it towards the mirror, and I asked them if they could go over by the mirror, and it was huge, bright white. I mean, it was flickering. It was so bright white, and it went slowly down just like that in front of the mirror. I then took another cam, I put it in my kitchen, and I pointed it through the hallways going into the living room. And on the kitchen wall, there's a little thing for keys and magnets and stuff, and I asked them if they could come into the kitchen and go by that little magnet thing, and they did. Who was helping me set up the camera system at the house uh, Friday night? Lewis. Lewis, thank you. I knew it was Lewis. I had a feeling it was Lewis. <laughs> thank you, Lewis. Was anybody else there? Yeah. Who else was there? Can you do this? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> All right, Lewis, thank you for answering my questions. George, thank you for coming through. Um, Jasper, I don't know if you're here or not. I don't hear you, bud. But, uh, Thank you. Say hi to Mike over there for me. Say hi to Eli down the street. Say hi to Mr. B. Thank you. Goodbye.